How long is 30 days? I would say it depends on who you're asking. A salary earner, for example, might say it is a really long time. But for an employer who has to pay wages, it's usually very short. But that's not the story tonight. 30 days for over 200 million Nigerians is definitely a lot. And that's considering all the expectations from government at all the levels. They want security, a buoyant economy, good infrastructure. The list goes on. So tonight on the program, we'll take a look at President Buhari's 30 days in office, the expectations and the reality on ground. We're being joined by Mr. Ken Okolobo, a member of a PDP and a policy analyst here in our Lagos studio. And from Abuja, architect Tunde Molay. He is a member of the APC and the Deputy Director of Buhari Campaign Organization. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the program. It's always my pleasure. All right, I'd like to begin with uh, Mr. Okolobo here in the studio. 30 days so far. But then overall for the Buhari administration, it is four years and 30 days. We can rate the presidency from security to economy and the fight against corruption, which he said uh, before his first term. The question is, objectively speaking, how would you rate the administration? 30 days. Well, well it's a bit shocking that it's 30 days down the line and we haven't made any major appointments. Well, if you, if you look at the appointments that he has made, it's just been the Accountant General that he actually returned back to your office. Then he made a new boss for the NMPC. And that's all we've had. One of the issues that have been bedeviling this country before now has been the issue of security. And you find a president who has had the service chiefs for more than four years. It has never happened in the history of this country where you have had service chiefs stay for more than four years. And these service chiefs apparently have lived, are living on what you call diminishing returns. 30 people were killed at a viewing center in, in Meduguri. Over 28 people were killed in Sokoto. The list can go on and on. We had the Feli Ferry go to visit him and they made a five point demand. They refused to accept the fact that the Fulani headsmen are killing their people in the southwest. Even when the governors had their meetings, the five southwestern governors, they didn't want to face realities. They should have told the president that your people are killing us. They're taking over our bushes. Our revered monarch, the Oba of Benin, had to cry out to say that there are camps all over in Edo State. Would you say the Oba of Benin is playing politics? We're having a very serious situation at hand. And the president sits back, he attends the security summit, and says nothing about the security architecture. He keeps promising every time these incursions happen. He keeps promising when these people are killed. For example, I'll tell you, there's a promising lawyer who used to be the local government chairman of my, of my local government, Washington Kennedy. He was killed by this Fulani headsman in Delta, Ukwadi local government, and nothing has been done about it. Incidentally, his wife is a police SP. And so we can go on, and the list can go on and on and on and on. And for me, it isn't even about economy or about uh, corruption. The most important situation we need security to take care of now is security first. Okay. All right. uh, the situation has completely deteriorated. Okay, so let, let's go to um, uh, Architect Mone uh, in Abuja. I see he wants to respond to you. So I'll allow you to respond uh, before we move on. Thank you very much, um, Kaudi. Nice to be here. Uh, first, let me just say something. Uh, let me ask Ken. Ken, good evening. Good evening, good if evening. you happen to leave this studio, the studios of Channels Television tonight, and you get home before you have your dinner, I guess you haven't taken your dinner, and the first thing that um, you are confronted with, or probably that you observe, is the announcement of the new cabinet. What will your reaction be? Would narration change? I, I, will, I will say that. You know this what? It's, it's not about the cabinet. What I'm more interested about is the no, security no, no, situation. Wait, wait, let, let's, let's, let's get this not, right. Uh, Architect Mole, Mr. Kolubo, I, I am the presenter not, here, so I get to ask the question. I, so I'd like you to respond. Please, please go on. Please, I just asked you a question because I was provided the platform by Kaudi. Thank you, Kaudi, for protecting me. May God protect us. <laughs> this is a book, Change Vision, published by me. If you want more of what this government has done so far, I'd like to see that please, book. Pick a copy. Mm. It's all over the country. I will say that the next level promises to be better than change agenda level or whatever you call it. I ask you that question because there's a lot of apprehension in the land and it's understandable because there's a lot of expectations. People want us to better what we did in the last dispensation. And we will. You recall that 
barely one uh, month, or barely two weeks after the elections, President oh, um, Buhari set up a committee chaired by the Vice President, Vice President uh, Oshimbajo, who is on a, an official tour to the U.S. right now, to look at what we did yesterday, look at today, with a view to fashioning out what we will be facing or what we will be doing in the future. That committee has completed its report, as I was told, but has not submitted. Okay. We should learn how to wait for government to do to represent us well. All right. We should be able to tell the truth based on facts and figures and not based on sentiment. All right. This uh, government, me, me. as far as I'm concerned, not because I'm involved, is the most methodical so far seen by me. I don't know about you, but there are empirical facts to suggest and to support my claims. So when you talk about things that are normal, people die every day with due apologies. But you find out that the government is, is the government proactive. If the government is not proactive, then you can say that this government is not doing well. We came in. We said we wanted to tackle corruption. We came in. We said we wanted to tackle the challenges of the economy. We came in and we promised that we would reverse the trend as far as um, uh, uh, security is concerned. All these have been touched. All right, Architect Mole, uh, if I may for a moment, a if I may for a moment, let's, let's come back to Lagos. We'll, we'll, drive, we'll drive the conversation further, just a moment. Now, Mr. Okolubo, yeah. you've listened to him. Yeah. Let's, let's be objective here. Do you, don't you think 30 days is a bit too short to, to, to judge? What, how how can 30 days be short, short? We're not trying to be... He, I think he's the one that is trying to be sentimental here. We're talking about people that are dying. He shouldn't say people die every day. One soul matters a lot. What I'm trying to say, first of all, you talk about the economy. Today, we know that the gain that they had in terms of inflation, which was down to 11.25% in March, has come to 11.40% now. And we can go on and on. But you see, why I don't even want to dwell on the economy here is that my heart is bleeding. Mm. The other day, I couldn't get a flight from Lagos to Benin, and I had to come by road. We parked at Okada, just before Okada, between Okada and uh, Ofosu, because the Fulani headsmen took three robo chiefs. It is that bad. And nobody wants to face realities. I am saying it here because I'm a father. Do you understand? Maybe it was when I wasn't a father, I wouldn't even feel this pain. People are being taken. I mean, you know what it means for people to come into your community and take over your community. We're not even talking about headers and full and headsmen and, and farmers clashes here. We're talking about those who brazenly just come, take you, ask for ransom, and nothing is being done about it. That's what we are talking about here. We're not talking about Cut, you yeah. saying that there is a pragmatic approach. What's the pragmatic approach? The pragmatic approach is that you have let, you have let security chiefs who have, who have who, as far as I'm concerned, are living on diminishing returns for four years without doing anything about it. You sit on Asu Rock and any time this thing happens, you keep saying you're going to do something about it. Is that a pragmatic approach? The only person that is trying to do something about this now is the IG of police. And the IG of police is what, what can he do in the face of uh, maruders that are using... Weapons are more so, sophisticated so, so, so you, that's it, than the mark. army. That's a pass mark. At least I'll give the IG a bit of a pass mark here. But that's that's still not enough with the other people who are complimenting the IG. All right. The president is sleeping on duty. Okay. We need to tell him that. Well, 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 that might be a, a very heavy word. But, yes. But but then, uh, Architect Molay, you mentioned the next level. I mean, change for four years. We have uh, gone past that level. But let's break this down. What is next level really about? Kaudi, next level is about continuity. Next level is about consolidation. Next level is about thinking with what we did in the last level, if you want to say. And that's exactly the thinking of Mr. President when he set up the committee, headed by that uh, very, very respectable man, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Yemi Oshibajo. Of course, it's an audit committee to look at the policies and it was even given the go-ahead to even co-opt people from the private sector, which it did. And as I told you, it, 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 there's a possibility that the, 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 um, the, the committee's report will be submitted uh, so, so shortly to, the, to Mr. President. No, Architect Mole, now, some are saying next this level. next level, if I may, some are saying this next level. Is it next level of, you know, some of the insecurity we're seeing so far, or some of the, you know, the, the, the economic situation? Yeah, what exactly is next mature. level? They have, the, they have the mature. Listen. They have to mature. You see, you cannot put up a policy and start a program and you expect that it will mature immediately. 
just like you said, 30 days is a long time, but of course we cannot quantify, I mean, you cannot qualify and you cannot assess a government within 30 days. But you can see some of the things that the, the government has done. A, a, a committee was put in place, I just told you. And apart from that, there are so many other things. Central Bank is talking about, um, is talking about palm oil uh, sustainability as far as palm oil is concerned. We are talking about uh, diversification of the economy. We are talking about your program. You, know, you have a program. China is continuing to run what BOI is doing. I mean, ensuring that there's sustainability in the SMEs uh, program. And these are things that we should be celebrating. I'm not saying we should be talking about insecurity. If there are, we are all in it. We shouldn't really politicize things that we should collectively own and defend and maintain and ensure that they don't happen if they are bad. All right. You see, I agree I'm a Nigerian. And I'm also very conscious of the fact that whatever happens in the, in the polity affects me as well. I'm a father, just like Ken is. I'm also, you know, uh, a, 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 somebody who, who believes that Nigeria is an entity. And a lot of things happen every day to us. I just came right. back from Ibadan. And I was supposed to travel to Lagos. I couldn't because there were stories of what have you, kidnaps and so on. But these things happen. The question I'm asking you. Is the government up to the task? Is the government doing something? Architect Mole would answer about, that question. Um, Architect Mole will, will have yeah. to take a break now and then we'll answer that your question when we return. We'll take a moment on the program and we'll continue our conversation uh, with the two gentlemen, uh, gentlemen joining us uh, this evening. Stay with us.